Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Kach the Anointing Center, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome. Kakra continues his profound message titled, Understanding the Parables of Jesus, sharing on principles of money that can be learned from the parables of the prodigal son and the unjust steward. Today, he speaks about true riches. Let's join in. Number five. If you have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who shall commit to your trust the truth? So here, point number five is that the way we use money will determine whether God will give us true riches. Are you understanding me? Which means money you can earn, but true riches... It comes from God. Who shall commit to your trust? The true riches. And said so true riches, it is given in trust. God has to trust you. And for God to trust us with his riches, we must demonstrate with the little that we, we have that you can trust me. You understand me? If we don't demonstrate it, God will not give to your trust true riches. So with the little that we have, we must make sure that we use it to the glory of God. When I say the glory of God, two things come to my mind. In 1 Corinthians 10, 31, the Bible says, whether therefore you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. All simple things. Colossians 3.17 says, Whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of Jesus. So when you see the glory of God, one of them is that, it means that what you are doing, it is God who has given you the permission. If what you are doing cannot be found in the Bible, it's not the Holy Ghost who said it, then you didn't seek permission from God. He said he will commit to your trust. The true riches. Do you know what true riches is? What I think it means. You know, the Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 6, in verse 5 it says, men of uh, corrupt minds concerning the faith, destitute of the truth, supposing that godliness is gain from such withdraw yourself. So there are some people who think that money is the most important thing. If I'm to just rephrase it. He said, don't follow those people. That they think that money is the most important thing. He said, no. He said, their mind is corrupt. Don't follow them. And they feel that if you have money, it means that God is with you, godliness. Money is the sign that God is with you. He said, no. Then verse 6, it says, godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world. It is certain we carry nothing out. Then verse 8 says, having food and raiment, let us therewith be content. Now, there are three things that he mentions. Godliness, which is holiness, plus contentment. Contentment is a gift from God. Plus food and raiment, which is material things, equals great gain. So in spiritual mathematics, great gain or true riches is godliness or holiness plus contentment plus material things, is equals to great gain. Great gain. I have learned to be content in whatsoever state I am in. I know how to be abased and I know how to, be abound, how to abound. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Paul said, when there is money, oh, I'm content. 
When there's no money to, I'm content within myself. Hallelujah. True riches. You see, but the two, the food and raiment, you can buy it. But the first two, godliness and contentment, it only comes from God. And holiness is important. Why? Because anything in this world, if you extract holiness in it from it, you will destroy it. Marriage, if you extract holiness from it, you will enjoy the marriage again, although you have a lot of money. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that the way we treat money determines if God can trust you with true riches. Two keys that unlock true riches are godliness and contentment. Join us again for an exciting session with Kaka Baby. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Feeling better after listening to your messages. Dear Kakra, there's a blind musician from Liberia who feels moody sometimes and cries most often. But anytime he hears your air power messages, he feels better. He wants you to pray for him always. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you. Have you ever experienced periods in your life when you felt tired and disillusioned about the very things that used to excite you? It could be a marriage, a job, or your relationship with God. The daily grind of life can sap energy from your soul, mind, and emotions, leaving you depleted. Anything that expends energy needs to be recharged. Recharge your life with this exciting book by Kakrabaden, Energy Drink. It will keep you fired up to face each day with faith, hope, and love. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Energy Drink in the comment section or message window. This book is also available as an ebook on Amazon Kindle or Kobo.com. We also deliver worldwide.